Her son was murdered by a 16-year-old girl who was an Uber passenger. Now, Grant Nelson's mother is hoping a piece of plastic could prevent a future tragedy and keep rideshare drivers safe. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar explains in this original report. He was just trying to make a few extra dollars like Uber drivers do and never came home. Tina Nelson's son, Grant Nelson, was stabbed and killed from behind by a passenger riding in his Uber in May near this Lincolnwood apartment complex. 16-year-old Eliza Wozni was arrested and charged in Grant's murder. She's accused of stealing a machete from a nearby Walmart just before the pickup. It was so traumatic that I thought if anything good can come out of this, this partition would have saved him. She's talking about this rideshare safety partition manufactured locally. I don't have to keep an eye on them because they're not going to get through this. The removable plastic separates driver from passenger. My safety was the idea behind it, yes. Tanisha Davis, a rideshare driver, inspired the divider, her dad the creator. It would give protection to both sides for the driver who's driving and the person riding in the car because mm -hmm. um, it is a little strange to be driving, be driven around by a stranger that you've never met before. If someone wants to do something, he's going to do it anyway. The passengers, like, they need that safety. Maybe it's good for other people, but with the truck, you know, it's, I, I'm watching, uh, with all the mirrors, I'm watching everything. We would really hope that it would be able to prevent any, anything else happening to another driver. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. The local plastic partition company has started an awareness campaign. Don't take your safety for granted in Grant's honor. There is also a walk later this month on the 24th to celebrate Grant's legacy. Proceeds will support the National Alliance on Mental Illness of Cook County, North Suburban. Contacted me a few weeks after my son's uh, death, and I had made a statement to the Tribune that I hoped that if anything could help uh, keep the drivers <coughs> safer, that it would be done. And Mr. Uh, Wayne Davis and his group contacted me to say that he has designed and built and has available safety partitions for drivers. You can put them in. You can take them out. Woo! And they are made uh, in Chicago or in nearby Chicago in Indiana. So they're local, they're available, and they're here. So everybody who's interested in driving, please stop by and take a look because people have not felt safe since this happened. And a lot of people have said to me, well, I was going to drive, but now I don't think I'm going to drive. I'm like, no. So when he told me, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I tried to figure something out. But the East Hardware, they have plexiglass there, but it's nothing. It's paper thin. It wasn't going to work out. And then a couple weeks ago, he called me again. He goes, you know, I remember you saying this, and I'm still concerned because my hours drop. I, I've been losing so much money because I've been a little nervous, but I enjoy it so much. Right. My ratings are real high and everything. I really enjoy giving people rides and stuff. So he's like, you know what? This was on the news a couple weeks ago, and they're actually even in this area. So I looked it up, and I was able to get a website, and I got a phone number, left a message. They called me, and I go, oh my God, what a godsend. So then I drove to their house, they put it in, and last week, and the first couple days I was a little nervous because my radius were real high. I didn't even know, you know? And, but, it, but it doesn't take up any space for comfort or anything because it just takes up the space it needs to do the job. So I put it to the test. So what I did was I would ask a few of the uh, passengers. They open the door. And when they get in, obviously they see something, you know, different than what they're used to. But I'm, I'm looking at them, I say, hi, how you doing? I'm Daniel. Should've been a I'm welcome, morning. like I always do. They feel comfortable, they get in. Most usually don't say, about half and half I have conversations with some. I don't. One thing I noticed is the conversation is still the same as far as it doesn't disrupt the customer service part of it, which I like. The airflow is exactly the same as it was. And the space, like I said, is the same. But I've also asked a few, I'm like, yeah, is this okay? Does it, I even asked them, is this a menu? And they're like, oh, gosh, no. A couple of comments were, were we get it. And I think, oh, yeah, I know why you get it, because you're human, too. One lady at a stoplight 
it was red, so she knew I could turn around. I hear a little knock, she tapped on the, the safety shield. So I turned around, since I was at a red light, and I see her with a smile like this. She goes, safety, great idea. <laughs> So you know what? I'm like, you know what? This is working, and I'm still, I still was getting five star ratings uh, those two days, uh, and I'm like, you know what? I feel really good now. So now I feel like when I'm out, I'm totally comfortable, and I can concentrate on what I'm supposed to concentrate on: my driving, and also customer service for that. Do you ever think so? Here's the solution: it gives the driver a couple of minutes that he didn't have, that Grant didn't have. So thank you for coming out. Um, we're missing, of course, Grant today. We are also missing uh, another board member, Mr. Dr. Uh, Mike Rodbro. And I know both of them are looking down on us and saying, this is a beautiful day. This is for you guys. So everyone have a good walk. Thank you, Tina.